inside the market, the moment I came across where they were selling food, I felt in my spirit that if I bought food from there, I would be initiated. Now, you, 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 now, now please, you said that the Lord brought you to the marine world. Exactly, sir. And when you get to the marine world, you saw two markets there. Two markets. In these two markets, you mean in the underground world yes, of this marine. Yes, now, in these two markets, you said in one side, they are selling trousers, yes, earring, food, and different kinds of things. Different kind. I couldn't even... Under the marine world. Under the marine world. Oh. What? Most of them are man-made from the marine world. Hmm. When they come into the world, they turn to human beings. But when they go back into the marine kingdom, they turn to man-made. So what they do is, when they come into the world, they turn to Christians. They become Christians. Most of them have married Christians, married men of God, hmm. who didn't know that they were from marine world. Hmm. And their mission was to make that man of God fall hmm. into sin and, and offend God. So many men of God have married marine mermaids, but they did not know. That, that, that. Bless you, bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel. By the grace of God, you are watching me in live program, Heaven and Hell. Heaven and hell. Uh, by the grace of God, this is where you share your revelation and dream. Uh, if you have uh, any revelation you have, we can you, we can, you can come for the interviews. Uh, a platform of holiness and righteousness where people build themselves and prepare for rapture. Uh, you can still on the show that uh, we have our same evangelist, uh, evangelist John. Is, he has, is here again as our visitor. Uh, by the grace of God, is going to give us wonderful and mysterious revelation God showed to him. And is going to be very powerful. Stay blessed. Prepare. As you are watching, subscribe, press notification button, press like button, and share to every contact you have. God bless you. Stay blessed. Evangelist John, how are you? I'm fine, Apostle. The Lord bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Bless God you bless too. you. God bless you. I see you are looking very good today. Glory be to God, sir. How uh, is everything? Bless the name uh, of God. Uh, I pray the Lord be with you in Jesus' name. The message Amen. you give the other time, people were really so happy with it and uh, they really appreciate God in your life and uh, they are very, very happy to hear the revelation God gave to you, to them. Uh, evangelist, yes, sir. you come today and uh, you told me you have a revelation. Do I know you are? You have a lot of revelation with you? By God's grace. Now, which one do you want to give us today? Thank you, sir. Praise God. Hallelujah. So I, by God's grace, I have had several encounters in the name of the Spirit. But today, the revelation I want to share is the one that has to do with the marine kingdom. Marine kingdom? Yes, sir. Oh. But before we go into the message, let us pray, sir. Okay. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for your love and your grace. We worship you for your mercy and for your death to save the world. May your name be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for the mysteries you are revealing because you don't want the devil to capture all the souls in the world. And that is why you have been revealing all these mysteries, that they may be known unto those whom you have chosen to come to your kingdom. May your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. We ask you to take control and charge of this moment. That this message, O oh Lord, will come by, your, by you. That you will lead and direct. That I may speak by your power in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. That this message will change life Amen. and convert souls Amen. and bring them to your kingdom. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Wow, what a wonderful prayer evangelist. Uh, yes, God, God bless you. God bless you. Now, can you just go straight to the point? What do you have for the people, the people of God watching you right now? Today, I want to share my encounter in the marine world. And uh, 
I want everybody that are listening to me or that is listening to me to pay very close attention. Your encounter in the marine world. Yes, sir. You, you in the marine world. In the marine kingdom. That's wow. That's great. I yes. actually call it marine markets because they were selling a lot of things there. Hmm. And uh, I had this encounter then around February, around early March, first week of March. Early March. Early okay. March. So it is not so far from the time. So in that early week, March 2023. 2023. Early okay. March 2023. Though I cannot recall the actual day, but I know it was first or second week of March. Okay. This year. Okay. So the Lord took me into the spirit of rain. In the name of the spirit and i found myself in a marine kingdom hmm. and this marine kingdom they have two sections of market the reason i want people to pay attention to this message is because it cuts across every human life it cut across the church it cut across the society it cut across even school and communities all the human endeavor and this message is very important, especially the men of God that are listening to me now, and young men and young women that are listening to me now. Hmm. Because this message will open your eyes. So when I got there, I, I found myself, the first place I appeared was at the market. Hmm. They, they are selling clothes like trousers, skirts, jewelries and attachments, and a lot even food. Some places they have already cooked food. So, and what they do there, if you eat that food, you've initiated. So, I was just walking. Wow, what a wonderful prayer evangelist. Uh, yes, God, God bless you. God bless you. Now, can you just go straight to the point? What do you have for the people, the people of God watching you right now? Today, I want to share my encounter in the marine world. And uh, I want everybody that are listening to me or that is listening to me to pay very close attention. Your encounter in the marine world. Yes, sir. You, you in the marine world. In the marine kingdom. That's wow. That's great. Yes. I actually call it marine markets because they were selling a lot of things there. Hmm. And uh, I had this encounter around February, around early March, first week of March. Early March. Early okay. March. So it is not so far from the time. So in that early week, March 2023. 2023. Early okay. March 2023. Though I cannot recall the actual day, but I know it was first or second week of March. Okay. This year. Okay. So the Lord took me into the spirit of rain, in the name of the spirit, and I found myself in a marine kingdom hmm. and this marine kingdom they have two sections of market the reason i want people to pay attention to this message is because it cuts across every human life it cuts across the church it cuts across the society it cuts across even school and communities all the human endeavor and this message is very important, especially the men of God that are listening to me now, and young men and young women that are listening to me now. Hmm. Because this message will open your eyes. So when I got there, I, I found myself, the first place I appeared was at the market. Hmm. They, they are selling clothes like trousers, skirts, jewelries and attachments, and a lot, even food. Some places they have already cooked food. So, and what they do there, if you eat that food, you'll be initiated. So, I was just walking inside the market. The moment I came across where they were selling food, I felt in my spirit that if I bought food from there, I would be initiated. Now, you, 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 you now, now, please. You said that the Lord brought you to the marine world. Exactly, sir. And when you get to the marine world, you saw two markets there. Two markets. In these two markets, you mean in the underground world yes, of this marine place. Yes, sir. Now, in these two markets, you say in one side, 
they are selling trousers, yes, earring, food, and different kind different of things. Different kind. I couldn't even under the marine under world. Under the marine world, they are wow. selling a lot of things. Eh? The market is larger than life itself. Wow. Bigger than this, our whole world. I couldn't go around the whole market. I was just going inside the market, looking around. There's something I saw that really shocked me. And then it is about women. So I'm going to talk, I'm doing I'm going to split this message in, in some in some parts. I will talk about what they sell, which I've mentioned like trousers, attachment, food, raw food, and already cooked food. Then I'll talk about why they sell them, to whom they sell them, and the reason why they are selling them. So now, what they are selling, I've mentioned, like clothes, female clothes. I came across a place, I saw mini skirts, short short skirts. And some of these short skirts, they cut them. They are very short, they still cut them, tear them under, just below their nails. Female, yes. Female. Yes. Then I saw ladies, they were like ladies, like human agents that were coming from this our world. They were coming from this award there. They okay. would buy these clothes. Oh. They would carry them back to the world and, and begin to sell them. Wow. And this mini case, they are selling it intentionally to seduce men of God and to seduce brothers. Because I saw, while I was watching, I saw a, a, a brother in that revelation. I knew that he was one of them. So he now sent a lady to me. She said that she, she told the lady to go and he told the lady sorry to go and meet me and seduce me. So as he was talking to the sister, I was watching and hearing what he was saying. So and I said, okay, you are coming to seduce me. I'll be ready for you. So I was waiting for her to come. I already knew her intention. So the lady started coming. Let me start with that one. So when she now came to me, suddenly before she reached me, she now turned to. All these Christian lady that wear long skirts. She now put on long skirts and then she was carrying Bible because I was carrying Bible too in that place. Mm. So when she now got to me, she said that she wanted to follow me and do uh, evangelism. So I said, I want to follow me and do evangelism. She said, yes. And I looked at that man that sent her. The man was still watching me and watching her, monitoring us. And I said, okay, she can wait for me. Let me finish going around the market. So as I was going around the market, I saw these people wearing mini skirts. And my spirit told me in that play that these sisters that are wearing miniscus, that they are agents of Marine Kingdom. Agents of Marine Kingdom. So, there, and I said, so the ladies that are wearing miniscus in the world, they are agents of Marine Kingdom. So I was asking myself in that spirit. So I said, this is very, very interesting. So I had it in my mind that any lady, any women that are wearing miniscus, they are agents from Marine Kingdom. There is a connection that connect them with the Marine World. Yes, sir. They may not believe what I'm saying, but and now, 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 now. You, what you are saying is this: You see, there is a lady that came to you that uh, came to seduce them. Yes, sir. She, she was. From the Marine, she was from the kingdom. But when she, she was coming from the Marine World, yes, sir. But when he wanted to get to you, it she, she transformed. She turned to a Christian. Which means that God is trying to give you a clear revelation that many sisters in the church exactly. they are agent of the darkness. Exactly, that's the they point came that from the marine world wearing the the the, the, the sheep looking clothing, like again, looking as if they are born again, exactly. but they are actually not born again. They are not born again at all. They are not born again at all. Some of them are demonic. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And they are inside the churches today trying to seduce the men of God. Men of God, brothers that are God, Yeah, that Jesus. are serving God with their heart. They want to seduce them, spoil the church, corrupt the church. They don't Jesus. want holiness in the church and that is what they are doing. And as I'm talking to you right now, there are agents of marine kingdom in, in the churches today. A lot of them. And some of them are directly from the kingdom. Like, some of them are human agents who indirectly got initiated. Like any ladies that are wearing mini skirts, indirectly, they are already initiated, but they don't know. Okay, 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 okay. What you are saying is that any lady, yes, in this world now, that is wearing mini skirts or short bombs, where they are or short, short bombs, short bombs, yes, all those sir. short knickers, exactly, 
when they get to market and they don't see any other decent clothes to buy, they buy mini skirts, they buy short bombs, all these clothes that will expose their body, expose their chest, their clevis, expose their hands. Those clothes are being brought from the marine kingdom for seduction. So it's when they wear seduction. it, automatically they get they initiated. They get initiated whether they know it or not. And that is why some so of them... You, you, now because we have children to wear in this kind of thing. Of course. So which means children who are initiated. They need to undergo deliverance because indirectly they are already initiated into the marine kingdom. My people, you have to hear this message. It's not a matter. As, as you are listening now, share to people. Let them hear the message from this man of God. Evangelist John, the revelations of his encounters with the marine worlds. What he saw there, he said, Those who are wearing miniskirt, bomb short, whatsoever, that they are automatically initiated into the marine world. Do you see what you have caught for your children now? Do you see what you have caught? That is why you have problems. With husband wife or, 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 or a spiritual husband yes and that is why many men their glory has been swallowed by sexual intercourse with the agent of this marine that they have sleep with you see that evangelist sir this message is serious can please. you please continue so yes. now the mini skirts and the all these clothes that are exposed body mm. Because the brother has sent that sister. Okay. He told her something that this, the, you know, the reason why we are sending you to that brother. We want you to go and make him fall. Hmm. And they didn't know I already saw them. So they will not go to churches. They will pretend. They will pretend. They will pretend to be good Christians, but they are not Christians at all. What? Most of them are mermaids from the marine world. Hmm. When they come into the world, they turn to human beings. But when they go back into the marine kingdom, they turn to mermaids. So what they do is when they come into the world, they turn to Christians. They become Christians. Most of them have married Christians, married men of God, hmm. who didn't know that they were from marine world. Hmm. And their mission was to make that man of God fall hmm. into sin and, and offend God. So many men of God have married marine mermaids, but they did not know. Da, 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 Both da, da, female, da, da, that's how one young men that are usually carry ladies along the road to be very, very careful. I know the kind of ladies they carry because most of them are mermaids from the marine world. They also have a mermaid as men that came into the world to, you know, spoil and some destinies of some sisters. So these things are the things I saw. Now, 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 what you are saying is this. Many Christians mm. are marrying mummy water. Mummy water, yes. Exactly. Another name for it. But they didn't know it. So they are not marrying human beings. They, they didn't marry human beings at all. They Many ministers are marrying mommy water. And that's why they have problems. That's why they have problems in their marriage. Their marriage. Do you now know why you have problems now. Oh my God. So the church has come to a level whereby we need them to be very careful. Very, very careful and spiritual. Because they are in the church. They, be, they will pretend to be. They will join prayer warrior. Everywhere. They will join choirs. They will join us, they will join the workers exactly. just to, oh God, to deceive the child of God. Exactly. And bring them down. And bring them down. Destroy them and their death. And send them to hell. And send them to hell. These things are happening real and it's very, very real. Man of God. Yes, sir. This is serious. It's very serious. Please continue. So, when after I left the market, I saw, let, let me, before I move on, I want to tell women. Any woman that is using jewelries of gold, earrings, attachment, makeups, all these things, they are being produced from the marine world. And they have, had already placed costs on them. So if you use them, or you use mini skirts, or you use short bombs, and you couldn't repent and you die, you are going to hell. Because these things are material from the marine world, and they had placed costs on them. They might even use Bible verses that, you know, God had already said, don't use these things. They will use it and place curse on this so that when you die and you get to heaven, the Lord will not accept you at the gate of heaven. So another thing I saw was uh, I saw they are selling materials like uh, raw food, raw food, raw food, raw the food. food they eat. Yes, they have the ones they eat, they have cooked, they have the ones that they have not cooked. Raw. 
So then that sister that I wanted to go with me, she now because she was still waiting for me. So she was still when I came when I finished, she said, Let's go. I said, Where are we going? She said, I should just follow her. That, that, that she wanted me to go and preach to someone. Because as I was going around the market, I was also, also you know, doing evangelism. So as we were going, I got to a place and I saw ladies and young men along the road. All of them, they were mas uh, massaging themselves. They were doing masturbation. Ladies were mas uh, masturbating themselves wait, wait, and young wait. men masturbating you, themselves. You, you, you mentioned something like food now. You have not completed. Uh, I will see, yes. I was, I'm so coming on, there. Where on, on your way, way to, the food place. to the food place, Yes, sir. you saw some brothers on and sisters way, yes. on the way. Yes. In that same world, they are same, massaging themselves. They are massaging themselves. So please, what happens? What happens? So and so, I suddenly I saw some water, like uh, water on the both sides. Okay. They were coming from the water, and then what they were doing there? I even saw young young girls, young young uh, small, like from age of seven years and above. All of them were doing masturbation in that place. That is what everybody. In fact, that place I call it masturbation market because everybody there was masturbating. And if you came to that place and they are able to seduce you, you will join them. Mm. So what helped me in that place was that sister that I was going with. And I knew that she too was part of them. So, but because she was with me and like she was talking to them like they knew her. So they thought maybe she had already captured my, my soul. So they now allowed us to pass. That place was very disgusting. So when we left there, we now go to where they were selling food. So... She now asked me whether I wanted to buy food. I said, no, I will not, I, I'm not hungry. I'm not buying any food. I already knew that everything about that place was demonic. Now, which means that those who are masturbating, ha, are they are already them. initiated. Initiated. They are already, all of them need deliverance. Serious deliverance. A true man of God needs to deliver. No them. wonder masturbation happens to be one of the dangerous sins very dangerous. that is difficult very, for very Christians dangerous. to very be set free of. They need deliverance. They are so initiated. They are initiated already. Anybody doing masturbation or doing gay or lesbian, all of them are initiated. They are initiated. Initiated demonically. Oh God, please continue. So I so when I refuse, the sister tried to push me to buy food. Like, and, I, and I said to her, what is it about this food that she wanted me to buy? And I insisted I was not going to buy the food. And I said, are you not taking me to the place you wanted me to talk to someone? She now said, okay, let's go. And she was taking me away, going, 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 going. I said, are we not to, have, haven't we reached where we are going? He said, she said, don't worry, we'll get there soon. Then before you know it, we came to a place. And I saw a big river, like it's more than a river, like a sea, a deep sea, very big sea. Uh, she now said, she now crossed. She now said I should cross. I said, no, why should I cross? I said, you are taking me inside the water. I don't want to enter water. She now said that the kingdom she wanted me to go to, that is inside the water. That that's where she wanted me to, 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 to talk to someone. So the moment she said the kingdom is inside, another, this is another sub, another, another sub kingdom. Oh God. Another sub kingdom that she wanted me to go. Hmm. So immediately I felt that ha, this sister might be taking me to initiate me. Because the moment she crossed, she changed form again. She changed form. I saw her like, I don't know how to describe it, but like she looked like part of her, you know, was not human. Part of her was human. So I noticed it. She didn't. The know. appearance changed. The appearance the changed. The clothing changed. Yes. So, she, so I saw her inside the water. I was seeing her from here. But I wasn't seeing the other part. Hmm. So I felt something that this sister is not real. So she now said, come, come. I said, no, I cannot come. So I then turned to leave that place and that chapter closed. Hmm. Wow. So when, after this encounter, I started going through the Bible because, you know, because of devil is using revelations and prophecy to deceive churches now. Yes. So I had to go through the Bible because to some confirms. of these things to confirm it. And when I was going through the Bible, I came across a place I want us to read in the book of Ezekiel chapter 29. Ezekiel 29. 29 yes. verse 3, sir. What is it? And verse 4. And the Bible says, Speak and say, thus say the Lord. Speak and say, Ezekiel 29 verse 3 and verse 4. Speak and say, thus say the Lord God. Behold, I am against thee, Pharaoh, king of Egypt. The great dragon that lieth in the midst of his rivers, which hath said, My river is my own, 
and I have made it for myself. Verse 4. But I will put hooks in thy jaws, and I will cause the fish of thy rivers to stick unto thy scale, and I will bring thee up out of the midst of thy rivers, and all the fish of thy river shall stick unto thy scales. So this place now, God is talking about monsters that live in the water. Hmm. The water kingdom, they have a lot of monsters. Like this fish is now is referring to mammoths. Because mammoths are half fish, half human. And the pharaoh that God is talking about here is not actually the pharaoh of Egypt. He's referring to, dra- uh, to Lucifer, the dragon. So the kingdom of Satan is in the water. And this marine kingdom is also under the, the kingdom that Satan had. Because he has a lot of kingdoms hmm. in, the, in the world. And again, if you go to the book of Psalm 74 verse 13. Hmm. Psalm 74 verse 13. The Bible says there, Thou didst divide the sea by thy strength. Thou breakest the heads of the dragons in the waters. That means there are dragons and monsters that live in the water. Yes. And these dragons are, you know, the fallen angels and some demons that are working with them. And their mission is to send human beings to hell. Hmm. I want to advise the women and the young brothers. Women that usually buy all these materials, with own attachment, earrings, makeup, and all these things. I want to tell you that these materials are not from God. Hmm. These materials are designed by the devil to lower you to hell. Because God had already placed costs on them. And I'm sure that this is not the first time some of you have heard you know, testimonies like this. This is also coming as a confirmation to those people you have listened this kind of message to from them that have given this kind of testimony. All hmm. these materials are designed to take you to hell. Hmm. There is something that the Bible said in the book of Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 30 for the people who are using makeup. Jeremiah 4 verse 30. The Bible says here, He said, and when thou art spoiled, what will thou do? He said, when you have spoiled as a woman or as a man, what will you do? He said, though you clothe yourself with crimson, you deck yourself with ornaments of gold, you rent your face with painting. He said, in vain you shall make yourself beauty. Hmm. For your lovers will despise you, they will seek your life. He said, God is saying here that any woman that is using makeup, they have already spoiled. They have spoiled already. So if they had not spoiled or backsliding or falling from the way of God, they would not use all those things. Because all these materials are from hell. Hmm. And that is why God is bringing this message to the whole world. That as many that love God and they want to make heaven, you have to let go of all these materials. And the mini skirt and the short bombs and all these clothes that are exposing ladies' bodies, they should stop using them. Anybody that wants to make heaven should stop using them. Because if you are using them, one, you are a prostitute. Because devil is using you to seduce the men of God. Not only the men of God, devil is using you to seduce other brothers who are walking on the street. And you make them fall into sin. Because these materials are materials of seduction. That is why they are designed. Do you know that many people that you see are God again on earth that are dead in their lives? Most of them are in hell. I should say that that people break my heart and break my head. They don't just want that you are what I would say. Is that most of you? My nephew meal to sleep, see food to eat. Say the next thing, fight how to make heaven. Say don't bother about husband, don't bother about children, don't bother about money. Because all those things, if you have it in this world, they are useless. You need to use it this world. The only thing you fight for here is how you will make them.
the serious evangelist. Very serious. The message is very serious. Very serious. God wants We keep to be warning saved. the people about this, but I don't know. Their art is somehow attached to it. For a reason. For a reason? Yes, sir. Can you tell me the reasons? Yeah, the reason that they are ignorant of. And this reason is the fact that those materials are intentionally produced. <sighs> yes, it is intentionally produced, one, to seduce the men of God and corrupt the church. Hmm. To seduce any decent brothers that are innocent of what they are doing. And then to use ladies to achieve their ends, to use women to achieve their ends, and eventually they will drag them to hell. Because women, if I may ask them now, why is it that when they go to market, I'm talking to mother now, when they go to market, a mother that has a daughter or daughters, they see decent gowns there, they see decent clothes there, they can buy for their children, but they will not buy them. Mm. They will leave those decent gowns. They say, this one is meant for deeper life. As if deeper life was one that wrote the Bible. They say, it's only deeper life people that wear long gowns. I don't want my daughter to dress like a deeper life sister. But they are very wrong. They will not go to the short gown, short skirt, you know, short bombs. Even parents are using their money to buy these materials for their children and turn them, unknown to them, into prostitutes. Yeah. And even Bible say that parents should not turn their daughters into prostitutes. But you don't know that if you are buying all this kind of clothing for your children, you are already turning them into prostitutes. Mm. Because they are seducing different men every day. A lot of men cannot control their eyes. Yeah. When they see naked girls, they cannot control themselves. Immediately they will feel lost. And when they lost after your daughter, your daughter has become a tool in the hand of the enemy. The devil is using her to seduce people, and she is going to perish if she doesn't repent. So mm. mo most parents use their money to buy problems for their daughters. And that is why they have bad dreams, like seeing spiritual husband, seeing themselves having sex in the dream. It is coming from all these materials that they are buying for their daughters. The jewelry, the attachment, the necklace, the makeup, the short skirts, the mini skirt, the short bombs, and short guns. All these clothes are already initiated. Hmm. And if they wear them, they are initiated automatically. Automatically. They, they, they may not believe what I'm saying, but they don't have to believe it anyway. But the message is coming to I you. I believe that we believe in Jesus' name. Amen. So I'm advising parents not to buy all this kind of clothing for their daughters. And if you already have them in your house, go and burn them up. And take your children to deliverance ministry because they need to be delivered from the demons that are walking through those clothing. And again, if I ask women, why have they found it difficult to let go of trousers, to let go of attachment, to let go of makeup, of, of jewelry? And this message, they have been hearing it. Why is it so difficult hmm. for them to leave it? And the answer is just one reason. And that one reason is because causes have been placed on them, them that they should not be able to leave it that when they die that those materials will deny them heaven this is the intention of satan because satan is working with deception he cannot come out openly and begin to use people to destroy themselves but he will use the deception so satan is the one that manufactured female trousers that manufactured all these things so that he can seduce men of God, collab the church, bring immorality inside the house of God, corrupt everybody and send them to hell. Mm. So this message is coming to you so that you can repent from buying all these materials, buy the same clothes as a child of God, let, dress like a child of God so that when people see you, they can be able to differentiate you between Christians and unbelievers. Because if you dress in trust as a woman, buy all this material, short clothes, short gowns, short skirts, you keep wearing them, makeup and earring. The Bible says that they are the materials of the harlots. And people cannot differentiate you between born again Christians and unbelievers. Even God Himself will not be able to recognize you. And one more mystery I want to tell the women is this the women that open their ears in the book of, uh, that's the, 
one of the last verses I will read. Two, two more places I want to read to them. Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse 16 and 17. Let me show you what the Bible says there. Women who are opening their ears. Deuteronomy 15, from verse 16 and 17. The Bible says, And it shall be, if he say unto thee, I will not go away from thee, because he loveth thee and thy house, because he is well with thee, then thou shalt take an oar, and thrust it through his ear unto the door, and he shall be thy servant forever. And also unto thy maid servant thou shalt do likewise. What the Bible is saying here is the commandment that God gave Moses, that if any maid or servant wanted to remain with their master hmm. forever, they should open one of their earlobes and bore it open and leave it like that. Hmm. God didn't say they should open two. They say one. And when they opened it, he didn't ask them to put earring there. They should just open it so that when they saw that person, they would know that this person is a slave. But today, women, you, you have a child or a daughter, you go ahead and bust the earlobe open. God didn't ask you to do so. You are actually tampering with the creation of God. Because if God wanted women to have their ears open, he would have opened them at birth, at creation. But because God didn't want your ears to be opened, he left it like that. Yeah. So if you keep opening your ears and putting your rings, you are striving with your maker. And the Bible says, that that takes me to the last place I want to read to you. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah 45 verse 9. Isaiah 45 verse 9. He says, Woe unto him that striveth with his maker. Let the pot shards strive with the pot shards of the earth. He says, Shall a clay or the clay say to him that fashions him, What makest thou or thy work? He has no hand. This place is saying, You can also read verse 10. He said that we are bricks and God is the brick layer. God had made man and woman the way he wanted them to be. The hair that God has given you, you tamper it by buying all this marine, uh, marine kingdom materials, you are attaching to your hair that God has given you. God will not recognize you because you are striving with him. You are telling God that he's not wise. Why didn't he put your ring? Uh, the, the other people are wearing it. God didn't want you to wear it in the first place. So if you tamper with what God has created, it means that you are striving with God. And Bible says, woe unto you. That means judgment and destruction is coming upon you. So if you know that you have done all these things, are using all these materials, as this message is coming to you, I advise that you repent of them. Go and burn those materials. Start from today buying decent clothes and decent materials for yourself as women and for your children as parents. So that God will be pleased with you and your family and i hope that this message you will accept it so that the lord will show you mercy amen god bless you evangelist amen bless for you your too. message your message is very powerful glory be to it's, god it's a, in fact it's wonderful and this will teach the women who are buying different corrupted clothes for their children i believe that listen to me women of god you have here what evangelist John just said about what he saw in the marine world. What do you say to that? He's not telling lies. He mentioned food. I don't think he has spoken about that. But I know that what he's trying to say is that many food are corrupted. Many food are corrupted. That is why most of the time when you eat when by the time you finish eating, we just see that spiritually you are down. Exactly. Please be very careful. We are telling you now, it's as if we are forcing this on you. We are telling you, are exposing the plans of Satan. The devil just wants to help. All those pastors telling you that you can live as you like, that God is not looking at your body, that God is looking at the heart. It is a big lie. I pray God will visit you and show you mercy. By the grace of God, the evangelist, evangelist John, is still coming back to heaven and hell to give you more of what God has shown to him. He has a lot of messages that will change and that will expose the plans of the devil. And I pray 
you will make it to heaven in jesus name god jesus bless you name. wait before you go do 14 for me number one subscribe to this channel apostle daniel number two press like button number three press notification button number four share it to your family to your friends to all your people let people be safe save your people from destruction of hell thank you god bless you you are you are blessed in jesus name bye bye